New Jersey, where the race for governor has tightened up as they reach the finish line. Republican candidate Jack Cettarelli is challenging Governor Phil Murphy. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live in Bridgewater, New Jersey, now with the latest on this race. Jessica? Christina Maurice, the latest polls show, as you just said, this race has gotten much tighter, much closer in recent days. So the Republican challenger, Jack Cittarelli, believes that means he has the momentum coming into Election Day. And last night and this morning, he's been telling his supporters he thinks Murphy is about to be one and done, meaning that he's about to become yet another one-term Democratic governor in New Jersey. The Republican and former Assemblyman Cittarelli was back out in his hometown of Raritan this morning, where we met up with him at a rally last night, talking to voters and urging them to get to the polls. With just a few hours left, he's been campaigning on the slogan, Let's Fix New Jersey, promising small business owners and homeowners better days are ahead if he's elected. If you like high property taxes and New Jersey being the worst place in the country to do business, particularly for small business, if you like waiting five hours online at motor vehicles or waiting month after month for your unemployment check, or you can't get money on the phone in any department of state government, vote for Phil Murphy. But if you want to change, you got to make a change. You can do that by voting for Jack Cetarelli. One of the biggest differences between these two candidates since the campaigning began is their philosophy, their response to COVID. Now, both, for the record, are vaccinated, but Governor Murphy has been much more pro-vaccine, pro-wearing masks out in public. Jack Cittarelli's party tonight, they're not even requiring people to be vaccinated, show proof of vaccination, or wear their masks. So we just want to let our viewers know for that reason, out of an abundance of caution, my crew and I will be staying outside, but we will We'll have live updates on air and online all throughout the evening for you. We're live in Bridgewater, New Jersey tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you.